All right, chip of the day. Uh, we have some LEDs, but these are special LEDs. Uh, these have three legs, uh, tripod. Um, they, there's a, there's a, a three-legged dog that lives in the neighborhood, a tripod dog. He's a good boy. Um, so these guys I purchased and I don't really like them. Uh, I, I thought I was getting something that I wasn't. So these are, I wanted red and green. I, I like an LED that could either be red or green. This one's either red or yellow. Uh, so it's not, yeah, it's not very much fun. So anyway, but anyway, be chip of the day. There we go. Get my money's worth, right? <laughs> Get my money's worth. So we've got a bunch of them here. Uh, they're just a standard T1. These are three millimeter, also known as T1, uh, package style LED. And uh, they have a reflector cup. There's a piece of, this is a lead frame. The metal part's called a lead frame. And there's a little dish in there that the LED sits in. Um, but I think this one's different. I think this one um, has uh, two posts, those two LEDs and then two bond wires off. So they have a center contact and then uh, two different contacts. And uh, so I think what it is, is normally the top of the LED is the anode. So I think in this one, there's, now let me draw a picture. All right, a standard LED lead frame is going to be a piece of metal that has a reflector cup in it like this, and it comes down to, uh, to uh, a post. And then the LED will sit down in here like this, and then there'll be another uh, post over here. And these are the two, and then this will be in, encapsulated in a, in, a, in a piece of plastic. And then the LED dye is uh, silver epoxy down, conductive epoxy down to this base, and then there's a bond wire that goes over here. So the top of the LED is the anode. So this is usually the long lead, long leg on the, on the, uh, on the package. But I think this part looks something like this. And then there are two posts over here like this. Okay. And then I think there's an LED that sits on here and an LED that sits on here. And then they're wire bonded like this, which means this is the uh, cath uh, anode and these are the cathodes. So it's made something like that. And then this is encapsulated in a, into a piece of plastic. I think that's what's going on here. So anyway, uh, the problem with that is that you have a, a light source on the two edges and they don't mix very well. It'd be better if they were both in the middle, but because they're both on the sides, it's not going to mix very well. But anyway, Anyway, like I said, I'm real happy with these LEDs. <laughs> Got them off of AliExpress or someplace. But let's 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 get one in, a, in an application circuit. Everybody wants to see chip of the day in an application circuit. So this is my application circuit. I'm going to be using a uh, Atmega Tiny 814, my favorite part these days. And I've written a little uh, Blink program, but it's a special Blink program. It's a dual dual Blink program. Uh, because it, oops, whoa, lost my plus five. Where'd it go? There you go. Red, yellow, and together, all together now, which should make orange, but it doesn't really mix very well. So it's, when you look at it, it's really hard to tell when both are on. It looks just weird. Um, so it's okay for all red or all yellow, but it, don't turn them both on. It just, it just doesn't mix well. I'll show you some close up, uh, close up here of the, uh, of the, of the part on and off. Well, the circuit is just, uh, the middle contact, uh, the middle part is, is the anode. So I have it connected to, to plus five and then the two cathodes go through, uh, 1k resistors to, uh, pins, uh, six and seven or uh, data line six and seven on the 814. So there you go. This weird yellow wire is just, uh, to use the, uh, the, uh, Oopity programmer, Oopity programmer would sit over here and, uh, oops, <laughs> eating all of its power. Um, that's interesting. Wonder why it doesn't power that up. I guess it doesn't. Anyhow, um, 
There you go.